So therefore, we came up with this uh, idea of a smart lockdown. We decided that uh, we would, on the one hand, um, uh, stop all places where there were public gatherings. So schools, colleges, marriages, anywhere, sports activities, everything we stopped. But on the other hand, we allowed other activities like, um, like, uh, like construction and, and agriculture. We did not stop any uh, uh, workers in the, in the agricultural area because, of course, then we would have had a huge food crisis. Uh, but construction activity, which employs most amount of workers in our cities, we open it up fairly quickly. On top of it, we, we, we decided uh, that we needed to uh, transfer cash to this, uh, to this uh, informal part of our labor, uh, uh, which, which there was no uh, registration. Those who were registered, we asked the employers to keep them employed and we, we, we uh, compensated for them. But the ones who weren't registered, we set up the system of uh, people registering uh, with, our, with our SRS program, which was this program through which we distributed money. We had desks everywhere where people were registering there. We had them checked. And then we, in, in Pakistan's history, never was so much money transferred to so many people in such a, sh such a short space of time. So. Um, that's saved us from some of the worst aspects of the lockdown. For instance, we saw what was happening in India. India did the opposite. They went for a curfew almost. And they had the huge problem of millions of millions of migrant workers who were just left stranded. And on top of it, their poverty, because of this very strict lockdown, their poverty rates have gone up. 